Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video uh, thanking Battle Beaver for this controller they sent me last week. And then I had a bunch of questions asking me the differences and my preferences between the Scuff and the Battle Beaver. So I just wanted to touch on that real quick. So this is the one that Battle Beaver sent me. It's the Electric Purple, which is uh, part of the brand new line that PS4 just brought out. Um, they just brought out, uh, it's like a rose pink. They have this electric purple. They have like a red tiger. And then there's like a titanium blue. They all look really good. This is the first purple one they said they sent out, which is amazing with the white buttons. I absolutely love it. So the customizations I did to it was I put the two buttons on the back. I have smart triggers and then the smart bumpers. And then I just have the scuff six. So that's all I added on. I took the rumbles out too. So just to make the control a little bit lighter. Uh, they put on, they hooked me up and put the scuff sticks on just because I've had scuff for the last couple of years. So I'm a little bit used to it and I love the concave. So that's the one I wanted to go with. Um, this is the buttons on the back, which are textured. Uh, I actually, I really like them. It took me a little bit to get used to them. It took me a couple games, but when I did, I like them a lot now. They gave me a bunch of extra caps as well. So originally the black were on and then I put the textures one on because they're a little bit raised out, which I like more. Uh, they gave me this case with the wire. I it goes to the controller. I, it's really useful to have the case. I'll be able to travel with my controller now without being worried that I'm going to break it. And then going over to my scuff, this is the one that Zero gave me at Champs. Um, I absolutely loved it when it worked. But my luck with scuff has been absolutely terrible over the last couple of years. So this one lasted me since Champs, but I haven't really used it. I've been, I went on vacation, and then I just really haven't been playing. So it's weird that it broke on me already. So... To go uh, talk about this one for a minute, I, I have the grip on it with the two paddles that are able to snap right on and off. This one also has the smart triggers, smart bumpers with the scuff sticks. So it's kind of like this controller, just the paddles are a little bit different than the than the buttons. So the paddles, when you're holding the controller, it's kind of nice. It just, your finger just rests right on there. But it's a little bit raised, which is why it takes a little bit getting used to going back to the buttons if you're going from scuff to Battle Beaver. But if you're going from a tr traditional vanilla controller to the Battle Beaver, uh, it's going to be really easy to go from, from one to the other. So this one, uh, what broke on this was the the paddle. This doesn't work anymore. Whenever I click it, it's supposed to be clicking B, but it just doesn't do it anymore. And then the joystick doesn't work. It can't run. So <laughs> this one, I don't understand really how it blew up because I just haven't been playing gaming as much uh, until MW comes out, which is weird. And then the one before this one lasted me only two weeks because the joystick blew out. And then the one before that, I had the screw on paddles that both broke and I couldn't screw them off. So I just couldn't get new paddles. So I had to send it out and then the joystick ended up blowing up. So I've had no luck. Uh, the one before I had that, it lasted me a little while, but then the same thing happened with the paddles and the joystick, both joysticks. And then the joystick even started breaking apart. So I just haven't had the best of luck with Scuff. It's still a really good product. It's a little bit on the expensive side, though, if you want the customizations on it. But it's still really good. I liked it, but it's just not as durable um, as the Battle Beaver, I'm told, which I'm really interested to see because that's my only gripe with Scuff. It's just the expense. It's really expensive. It takes a long time to get fixed if you send it in. And, um, yeah. But I really do like the buttons. They're really different. I love the case. So now I just want to show you guys a little bit about the build there. So I'm going to go over to here. So this is the one that RC's tweeted out. I'll bring up the tweet right here. Uh, he's sponsored by Battle Beaver. So he tweeted this out. This is um, goes to my only gripe with Battle Beaver, which is uh, their build time right now is a little bit delayed. Uh, it should be clearing up pretty soon, going back to what it used to be, which I think it was around like uh, four to six weeks. I don't really know. But right now it's around two months. But you can boost some controllers. So this is one of the controllers that can be boosted right now. So it's like a an army green with the white accents. It looks really clean. I actually like this one a lot. Uh, it takes them two to three business days to build, and then they ship it out to you. So it takes uh, <laughs> really quick. It, it's not a lot of time to get, to get to you. So it's 176, but when you use one of the codes for the pro players, like if you put an RC's code, uh, it's, I believe it's 10% off. So it goes down to probably like 160. Uh, it's really not that bad when you think about it. So on uh, this one, I already put on the two buttons with the two smart triggers. And so that's all I did. Uh, so it brings up to 160 for that. And you get it within a week, probably. It's going to be around 160. So it's really not bad. But then this is this the regular uh, builder. What I like about it is so this is just the regular one with two with two buttons. So it's 122. It also has the two smart triggers. So it shows you the price. It's $12. So if you want to get a controller and get it by, you know, uh, holiday time, uh, this would only be $122. This is also without a discount code, so it would probably be like $110. And uh, it would take about eight weeks to get to you. And what I really like about Battle Beaver is how clean like the builder is. I know Scuff does have one too that's really nice. But this one uh, I just like because it's a step-by-step. -step. You just go, it just walks you right through. So 
the buttons I have uh, are not reprogrammable, but you can add that in. It's a little bit extra. I think it's like 20 bucks. I'll actually see right now. Add remapping chip. Yeah, so it goes up to 148. I just kept mine static because I know I'm always going to keep mine with X and O. And then you just go right through. So you can remove the, the rumbler, add tension to the sticks. And then, you know, those are the smart bumpers and smart triggers. I highly, highly suggest that. I can never go back to this regular. Uh, you can change everything aesthetic-wise from the faceplate to the rear shell. It gives you plenty of options. As you can see, I can just go through them real quick. Uh, they just got a whole bunch of new ones that just came in for the fall season, which are going to be really, really nice. Uh, I, actually, I might actually order a couple more just in case, get one just in case my controller does, like if I lose it or if I lend it to somebody. So yeah, you can do everything aesthetic wise, the face buttons, D-pad. But what I really like too is when you go all the way over here, you can get to the thumbsticks. So they have a lot of different options for the thumbsticks. So they have just the stock and OEM, they have domed, they have the pro stick. So the pro stick is right here. They give you little pictures for a couple of these, um, Xbox One, uh, aluminum, and the interchangeable is really nice. So these are like raised thumbsticks. It's just a little bit different. It gives you a couple different options, and then you can always color them differently. So it gives you a bunch of different options. You can add a grip in, which is pretty, pretty, it looks pretty nice. I would have added, I might add that in for the next one I get. You can add a warranty to it, accessories, which is the, the cable, and then you get a BBC sticker. But yeah, the build time kind of sucks. That's the only thing that I don't like is just the build time. But everything else is, is amazing for Battle Beaver, which is why I'll probably be sticking with this. Yeah, so... Definitely look at uh, this this controller right here. You can get that probably by like a couple days in the MW if you order now. You'll be able to get that. Yeah, I think it looks really nice actually with the with the white accents and then the army green. And uh, yeah, so I definitely suggest the textured buttons on the back uh, with the smart triggers. That's the only thing that I really <laughs> that I really needed. But there's lots of customization you can do with it, which is nice. But yeah, so that's the only two options or only two differences between the controllers is just really the buttons and the bumper and the paddles. But the durability of scuff is something that, you know, a lot of people have problems with and some don't. Um, I've had terrible luck and yeah. So I'm probably going to be sticking with Battle Beaver. This is probably the best controller I've ever had. I absolutely love it. Uh, I've been using it in Apex the last three days. So yeah, it's definitely my favorite I've ever had. I'm definitely going to stick with it. But I just wanted to thank them again because they, they got this to, to me very quickly before MW. And I uh, really just can't wait to game with it. So uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'll be able to answer a couple more.